does it mean when we refer to the price of oil? You hear it mentioned all the time, on the news, by politicians, even oil traders themselves. But there is no definitive price of oil. There are thousands of different grades of crude and oil products traded around the world, all with individual prices at any one time. It's for this reason that benchmarks were first created. Benchmarks act as a reference price for traders and market participants. Initially, it began with something called the WTI contract that referenced US crude stored in Cushing, Oklahoma. Then came the Brent contract, which referenced oil in the North Sea. Next, it was Arbob, or New York gasoline, heating oil and gas oil, all of which together are known as exchange traded futures. In 2012, the exchanges listed oil swaps for the first time as what they called block futures. This gave rise to more and more granular contracts for different types of oil in different global regions. Today, there are over 650 benchmarks that are listed on the exchange and available to trade. You can think of benchmarks as indexes that have been created by exchanges and what are known as price reporting agencies, or PRAs. They have a fixed methodology that calculates a price every day for a particular oil product in a given region. The indexes usually include an average of physical oil prices from reported transactions in a given day, combined with financial transactions in the forward curve. How a benchmark financial contract is settled on expiry of the contract is crucial to understand if you are trading. And you can be at a severe disadvantage by not knowing the intricacies of what impacts the region. For example, you might be trading the Arbob Exchange Futures contract, a very popular gasoline benchmark. Because of this, you may think you're just trading gasoline. The truth, though, is that you are trading a contract that reflects gasoline in New York Harbor and a very specific blend of gasoline called reformulated blend stock for oxygenate. This means that a seemingly insignificant incident, such as a temporary pipeline fracture in one region, can have a hugely disproportionate effect on a benchmark. And this single incident can put that benchmark out of step with the rest of the world's gasoline prices.